Mm. So today we are making chicken on the grill. I have some legs and I have a breath for me. Um, Samaj is going to season up the vegetable, the chicken. Um, and I'm going to put, I'm going to tell him what to put on there. So we do a little couple of things different. Use this one first. So the first ingredient we're using is, hold it up so I can take, uh, get it in the camera. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. So I put chicken in my cinnamon, especially when I'm putting it on the grill. It gives it a different flavor. Good job. All over. Don't let the, the bottle hit the raw chicken. Let me see. And next is this mommy shaking. Next is what is this called? Can you sound it out? Paprika. Paprika. Good job. So in addition to our cooking, we I let him read the ingredients that we're putting in. Um, it helps with his mm -hmm. reading and comprehension of things. So paprika is something that gives the food color. Hold it. And a smoky flavor. Hold it up a little higher. You don't want to get, you don't want to, remember, you don't want to, it doesn't matter how much you use. I, I, I actually like to use a lot of paprika. And Time for this one. The next one is ground black pepper. Show me the bottle. So we get our seasonings most of the time from um, all these, because uh, that's generally where I shop. Uh, parents on a budget, you know. I do go to the grocery store and I have started um, going to mainstream grocery stores because I use a program called um, Fetch Rewards and you upload your hold it, hold the bottle, excuse me guys. I'll do it. I know but you have to there's two things you have to do at the same time. Hold the bottle and twist this. Um, Fetch Rewards gives you gives you the opportunity to upload your grocery receipts and um, gain rewards. So what we're going to use our rewards for is like movie tickets, our entertainment. Um, it helps in a pinch. My great cousin, my big cousin, uh, told me about it, and we've been using it, and we are already at almost five thousand reward points after um, only using it for one two weeks. Um, I'm going to take a quick pause for a second so I can help him with this pepper. Be back shortly. So the next thing we are putting on, I had to grind the black pepper up, is garlic powder. Um, it's enough for right now. Wait, can I see it? Whoa, it's a star. Yeah, it's a star. Um, I try not to cook with salt because, you know, high blood pressure, yada, 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 all those things. And it's actually not healthy for you. But um, he enjoys fresh garlic and garlic. And now we're going to put a little... Can you read that, what that says? Garlic? Nope, ground cumin. Ground cumin. So you don't need a lot of this. Okay. So take your time. And again, I just I'm like trying... I watched TV shows today of cooking. Yeah. Now we're making our own TV shows about cooking. Okay, so now the fun part. Take that out. And now the fun part. What's it? Mixing it up. Now, remember, raw chicken. We don't want to slosh it and splash it all over the place. So you're going to get your hands in and mix it up. Okay. So, just mix it. Don't just mix it. So move your hands around. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Let me show him what to do. Okay, so I showed him what to do. So he is mixing the chicken around, getting everything coated with the deliciousness of all of our seasons that we put on. This one's the hardest. Yeah, the chicken breast is always the hardest because it's the biggest. Mm -hmm. um, chicken okay. breast, I do the little chickens. Chicken legs. You, they have to kill a chicken with chicken legs. Uh, yeah. And I do not want to see that. Okay, well, we probably will not see it. And, you know, I will make sure that you don't get to see it. 
but if you want to be a cook you actually have to break down a chicken so we'll learn how to do that once we get some knives and um some things that you can actually cut with i want to teach you how to debone a chicken and fillet a chicken and all that kind of stuff so. we have to buy a chicken no we're not we're just going to get a whole chicken we're not going to get a live chicken but if we lived on a farm we if we lived on a farm, we probably well, would just... Want to tell them, if there was pig, bacon time. Okay, but we don't eat pork. We eat turkey bacon or beef bacon. That's what we have for breakfast this morning. Okay, so I'm mixing up the raw chicken. And the thing about uh, cooking with kids yeah. is that um, you want them to try doing every aspect of cooking, not just icing in the cake. Um, actually making the cake, not just, um, I feel a bone. it is a bone in there, <laughs> not just, um, cooking the, the chicken, actually seasoning the chicken so they know what they're putting on it and it'll actually give them a better feel of, um, tasting it, you know, uh, opening up their horizon, their minds to, not good, see? That's what I mean. Um, what you put on the chicken will make you actually want to eat it a little bit more. So, yeah, I especially, it. I know, but you can't eat raw chicken, especially um, at this young age. Um, most kids are, take this level, because I don't want you to touch it. Don't touch the bowl. Um, cross contamination, time out, you know, from the cooking talk is um, cross, cross contamination and salmonella. Is something that is very strong, especially when you are cooking poultry. So you have to be very diligent in keeping your hands washed, not putting your hands in your mouth, not touching your mouth with your hands, not touching your face with your hands. You cannot do that. And you, whatever you use to mix the chicken, um, tongs, utensils, bowls, um, make sure you thoroughly wash it with um, HSW, and that is hot soapy water. Um, it will help keep everybody safe and healthy. So I'm going to pause right now and go and check the grill and make sure that everything is hot and ready, and I will be back shortly. Okay, so as you see, the coals are all turned white. I use something different when I light my coals I use actually I use olive oil um, it helps and it's, it's not toxic um, it helps light the fire faster and keeps the fire burning longer and um, I actually enjoy it over lighter fluid because um, I don't like the way that it leaves a lingering taste on your food um, I'm actually prefer gas grills but uh, for right now. My mom is a professional pizza maker. She is good at cooking. Well, I mean, I am good at cooking, but everybody can get better. So I'm going to put this on the grill. He's going to hold the camera. Don't put it on, Mommy. Move up. You uh, So one of the things I also do is skin side down. Get that sear mark on. Normally, I don't use a fork when I'm growing. I use tongs, but okay. uh, we broke our tongs. Doing something else with it. It looks Probably lighter on the camera, but it looks darker on the. If you're doing normal outside, eyesight. Well, what is your, what is the best thing that you enjoy um, while we're cooking? Me? Yeah. Oh, the best thing that I enjoy is that the fun things that we do, like mix it around, put it on the grill, eat it. Okay, Everything's eat it. my favorite. Okay. So we're going to pause for a second. We'll be right back. 